So this is an attempt at making a quadcopter using cardboard. So as you can see here, I've cut out the cardboard sections and then what I've done is I've used double-sided sticky tape to fix them down and just to keep these edges in, I've used triangles of cardboard here. Again, these are all stuck down with double-sided sticky tape and I've got masking tape around the corners just here. Uh, now obviously this is not going to be particularly strong quadcopter if it's just made out of cardboard. So what I'm now going to do is cover the whole lot in fiberglass. And the fiberglass I'm going to use is a fiberglass cloth. It's quite a lightweight cloth. So this is the cloth. It's uh, 180 grams per square meter. Um, I'm actually going to use two layers of this cloth but cloth doesn't like to be put straight on top of the cloth. Normally you'd use a chop strand mat in between each layer of cloth, but because I've uh, run out of chop strand mat, I'm going to use a tissue layer in between. So when you use cloth, um, and actually when you use tissue, uh, you only need um, the same weight of the material of cloth and tissue as resin. If you're actually using chop strand mat it's uh, two and a half times the volume of resin to the weight of the chop strand mat. So uh, I haven't really bothered measuring it, I've got lots of fiberglass spare so I'm just going to go for it and hopefully make a big enough batch. And as pointless as this seems it's really important to give it a good stir otherwise you might get sections of the resin which don't have any hardener in it and then uh, that will be slow to go off if it goes off at all. And then other sections will go off very quickly. It's very important you mix well when you're using gel coat. Obviously this is just resin so it's not as critical. And the first stage is to uh, cover the whole surface with a resin. Which I'm not going to hang about with. I mean, this is an experiment. I don't know how successful this is going to be, and I've kept this design relatively simple. Um, if it works quite well, you could uh, go for quite extreme designs. Um, this is a lazy way to do fiberglass. Obviously, if you're doing fiberglass properly, you would make the item as a pattern and make it as best as you can. Then you would make a mold using that pattern. Then you clean up the pattern, sorry, the mold, and then you'd attempt to uh, make the finished article using the mold. Again, you have to work quite quickly around this. Try not to get any creases like I nearly have there. So we're now gonna put the tissue on. So we're now on the second bit of cloth and I've put this with the uh, fibres going in the opposite direction to the original. I don't know if that will really make a difference on here but it's always worth um, crossing the fibres at 45 degrees. The uh, cardboard is holding up which is always useful. I didn't know if that was going to collapse under the uh, wetting of the fibreglass resin but it's sticking. A few bits there I don't like. These corners are awkward. I think if I was going to do this again, I'd sort out those corners more. So now that's nicely wetted out, I'm going to go onto the roller and just roll over just to push it all nicely down. 
get the resin nicely through and hopefully get rid of some of these bubbles that have happened on the corners here. I don't know if you can really see this on the camera but it uh, pushes all the resin through the cloth which is exactly what you want. Okay, so while I clean the brush and the roller up, I'll just uh, go over what I've done. First part was to uh, paint the resin over the cardboard. Once I was happy, I got that on all over the areas. I then put one layer of cloth over. I've um, wetted the cloth out again with the paintbrush. And I've then put tissue on, which I'd cut to the corners. And then I've put the other layer of cloth on, which was set at a different angle to the first layer of cloth. I've then wetted the whole lot out with a paintbrush and then uh, rolled over. Um, I can see that I've got some um, bubbles on the corners, but I'm just going to have to live with that. Um, if you wanted to do this better, you'd redesign things to make a maybe a smooth radius around here. In fact, I probably could have just done it with masking tape or another little radius of cardboard. But as a test, this is uh, going to go quite well. So this has set overnight. I have to be honest, I didn't put enough hardener in the resin, so it's taken longer to set than I would have liked. Uh, and now I'm uh, in the process of cutting fiberglass from the baseboard. I started using a uh, diamond cutter in a multi-tool, but... Uh, the multi-tool was getting so hot I couldn't hold it. So I'm now uh, on a hacksaw blade and that's working quite nicely. Let's have a look. There we go. That is our cardboard quadcopter. And let's, uh, not bad, it's a bit of flex in it. But I think that's going to work quite nicely. So I'm just mounting the final motor and you can see on the underside here because it's cardboard uh, the screws are going to pull into the back so uh, you want to use a big washer but uh, I've found that if you uh, cut the ends off the original motor mount then you can use that to uh, spread the load. Um, you can see it's actually pulling into the cardboard a bit around the edges and I think what's best to do is tighten them then leave them for a couple of hours and tighten them again and check every time you fly that they haven't come loose. Um, but that's going quite well. Um, I'll get the last one in and do the wiring. So this has turned out to be um, quite a quick build. I've uh, mounted the motors. I then used double sided sticky tape on the speed controllers and I've used a power distribution board under there to make all the wiring nice and easy. And then on top of that I've got a KK board. 
So the question is, does it fly? OK, so I've finished all the wiring and configured the KK board to a quad in the plus configuration. I've then added the battery underneath and that's tie wrapped into place. So now it's time to give it test flight. I should warn you, it's really windy here today, so it's going to be a short flight.